everybody, we're back. Let me just test this out. Uh, Grace was doing my other video, and so now she's at school, so I've got to do it myself. Okay, so we are back with a DIY. We're making a hand sail today. Okay, it's super easy. I am not really a DIYer, but I really like being in control with what I put on my body and my kids, so I like knowing that I know all my ingredients that I'm using, okay? So the first thing I did and I'm not going to move the camera, but I put in two tablespoons of beeswax into a double boiler. And so don't let double boiler scare you like it scared me. It's just a pot in a pot. So you, you boil it and then you put another pot in there. So this is what I got. I just got from Amazon. I could put the links in. Um, they're little uh, wax beadlets, okay? Or if you get the big chunks, you can shave it down. This just saves a step. Okay, so this is what I boiled, or I put in the double boiler first, two tablespoons. Then um, you add in, let's see here, I'm going to put this up right here, a half, a, a half cup, and I'm actually, there we go, just using it, of grapeseed oil, a half cup of almond oil, okay, and then one half tablespoon of vitamin E oil, okay, there we go, and then I just mix it all, it's really easy, I just do that, get it all out, and then I pour it into the beeswax, because after you pour it into the beeswax, the beeswax will harden a little bit again. And so I just do that just to um, get a spoon here. Just to make sure it's all melted. So I'll stir it a little bit. It's actually really easy. So I've been making these all morning. I'll show you. That's going to take a second. And so here's one that I already did. Okay, it's not all the way dry yet. Um, I bought these really cute jars from the dollar spot at Target. So they're $3 each. And one of the recipes that I just shared makes about one and a half of these, depending on how full. I fill it, I mean, you could probably fill it all the way. So two recipes will fill three of these jars. Okay, so then after you put the oil in, um, then you let it sit and cool for several minutes. Then you put your essential oil in. And then you let it harden for like two to three hours, okay? So I'm making these for, well, one, myself, but also Christmas gifts because Christmas is coming up. And um, for Mother's Day, I did the sugar scrubs, and I gave that to everybody. So now this year, everyone's getting the hand sales, okay? And so you can add in, um, there's so many recipes of what oils that you want to use. So today I was using um, frankincense, right? Because today we're talking about frankincense. This is so good for the skin. Melaleuca is also really good for the skin. So I'm adding this. And then, um, such a bummer, but I just ran out of lavender. But otherwise, I'd be adding lavender in this too. I've been taking a lot of lavender baths lately. So um, I would add lavender to this also. You can add whatever oils, um, skin oils that you want, right? Depending on what you want. Um, I'm actually going to make probably save one batch for myself and I'm going to add probably the uh, the clary sage, geranium, bergamot, um, lavender when I get that because those are all the women hormone feeling good oils and that's what I like to rub on myself plus frankincense because when you add frankincense to anything it makes um, those oils more effective okay so this is ready okay and then, let's see if I could do this so you guys can see it here. I'll get out of the way. And then you just pour it into the cup. Okay, and I had a little bit of, this one wasn't done yet. So I add it there. I'll add a little bit more here. There we go. So, yeah, there. so that's it. That's all you do to make these. So like I said, I will let it cool. I don't know if you guys can see this. Maybe I'll zoom in. Um, I will let it cool down. Then I will add my essential oils to it. And 
I will probably, and then you have some tins. What I'll probably do is put some cute stickers on it, or I'll take some, got the sunlight. I will take some, maybe some cute um, colored permanent markers and write a little something on there. And then you can put some cute um, ribbon or burlap around it, and it would make um, a super cute gifts for moms, sisters, grandmas, yourself, um, teachers, right? These are just so easy to make. I made a whole bunch. So I've, I've been making them, I'll take this. I, I've been making this all morning. So this whole jar, so these two jars, if you guys can see that, I made all of these, okay? So six. And if you, if you made, if you had uh, smaller jars, you can actually make even more. So and you can see this, this beeswax is gonna last a really long time. You probably don't need to buy one this big. Um, and then you can add your oils. So that is how you make it. It's so easy, you guys. I hope you all make it for yourself and for others and give the gift of health. And now you are in control of what you put on your skin. I hope you like this recipe. I will be back with more later. Bye, guys.